Hey guys, what's up? It's TDRB Cubing here, and today I have another mega unboxing. Alright, here we go. Right off the bat, I'm seeing some puzzles I really am excited for. And we have a business card along with everything else in this mega unboxing. Alright, here we go. So. First off, I'm going to be unboxing probably the th cube I'm most excited for, the Chi Wu Shuang. Now, I've needed a new 5x5 main for a while, and so that's why I'm pretty excited for this cube. It's why it's the most anticipated cube, and this package actually came a little bit early, so I'm glad about that. And I know I said my Q&A would be in the next video, but I didn't expect this to come early, so yeah, anyways, it came with a pamphlet. But the main attraction is the cube, of course. Alright, let's get in the first turns. That's really good. And I did not get the magnetic version, just because for some reason with Chi, their magnetic cubes are a whole lot more expensive than the normal version. The magnetic versions, I think, is like $50? I don't know. But this thing is like under $20 because I got it on discount. So I just decided to get this instead. So the inside is very sandy, but definitely smoother than the outer layers. Yeah, the inner layers are really good. Yeah, this is really good. I will be making a separate review video for this cube. Overall, this is a really good cube. Yeah, this has the best performance I've ever tried for a 5x5. Five five. And the next up is another speed cube. And another cube I'm going to do a review on. The X-Man Wingy. This is cool. It comes with a pamphlet. I like the, the box. And this is actually concave. If you couldn't tell, it's kind of hard to tell on this camera angle. But it is concave. Let's get in the first turns. Now I have a good skew main, and this thing is actually really quiet too. I had a good skew main, it's just the more I used it, it actually seemed to get a little bit harder to control in quality, probably because I got faster, and the cube was just too slow. Now this is really good because it's fast, but it's controllable, and it's also magnetic, if I didn't already say that. But yeah, this is a really cool puzzle. Um, Skew is definitely not my main event, but I do find it really fun. And with this Skew, I should probably get into it. And yeah, this is really cool. So yeah, I will also be making a review for this. And the next up is, um, let's go with the Twist Cube. Alright, this is actually pretty big. And basically what this is is a 3x3 shape modification and this actually came out a while ago not this cube in general and it was way too expensive and then Leaf Fun came out with the same puzzle and it was way cheaper so I decided to get it then and this is really cool whoa that's weird it just feels weird definitely a cube I'd bring to a competition to show people and that, that's what checkerboard looks like. Now that looks kind of weird too. This is really good. Oh, part of the center cap just came off. I guess we can get a look at the center cap. But yeah, the center cap is actually two pieces, which is actually really interesting. Yeah, that's actually this is actually a really cool puzzle. I'm definitely going to be doing a solve of all of these puzzles in the end of this video. It's going to be a pretty long video, probably one of my longest, but it's definitely worth it. So yeah, twist cube. Next up is the um, let's see, the Mo no the Moyu Ready Barrel. Now this is interesting. All right, now I've shown you the barrel cube in the show and tell episode, and I also unboxed the Dino Cylinder. This is the 
basically a dime cylinder, but it's the ready cube, so... That turns kind of like my transparent 3x3. Yeah, I got it in transparent because I thought it looked cooler. It comes in stickerless bright and transparent. And this is really cool. I'm probably going to make a separate video where I solve all these because this might be too long, but it just depends on what I feel like doing. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing a separate solve video. So let's see how it shape shifts. Yeah, it, this really reminds me of the dino cylinder. I don't really think they're different. Because with the dino cube, actually it was easier than a dino cylinder. Because with the dino cylinder, in order to maintain its um, cylinder, the shape of the cylinder, they had to act extra pieces. And it's kind of like this one. They actually had to take away some pieces so it would have that shape. So they actually, I think they're both going to have the same soul. Overall, this is a pretty cool puzzle in the... Ready Cube was one of my favorite puzzles, so I'm glad I got this. I'm glad they came out with this. Alright, next up is the Mofang Jiaoshi Pandora Cube. Now, this is interesting. I actually saw a review of this inside to get it. It just looked really cool. So, it looks like it should turn like a skew. Like, it should turn like that, but it won't. It's just the 3x3. Three three. That actually turns really good. Um, this is actually really weird. It just, like, you can't really do M slices on it, so, having to do, like, um, an H perm, I think it's called, you'd have to, like, do that. But, yeah, this is actually really cool. Let's do a checkerboard. Yeah, it looks really interesting for checkerboard. It does not look like, um... A normal checkerboard at all? Definitely not. Well, obviously. Yeah, th so this is also a really interesting puzzle. And then next up will be the mini barrel cube. It's a keychain cube. And yeah. So, yeah, the keychain does come off. The keychains connect to the edge, so that's kind of weird. But let's get first turns. This already turns better than my barrel cube, which is actually kind of funny. Do checkerboard. That's checkerboard. Yeah, this is a really cool puzzle. Now I have a normal size version of this, but the normal yeah, the normal size version is actually just like this one, but it's not stickerless. But mine was a dollar. This thing was like a little bit over a dollar. I just thought it was really cool how they made a miniature barrel. And yeah. Last but not least, I have a cube. Probably the second most anticipated. It is a keychain Penrose cube. And the thing is, I want to get the Penrose cube as a 3x3 mod. And I saw this one was cheaper, so I thought maybe just get the keychain version. And I actually have tried my friend's um, Penrose cube, so let's get into first turns. That's pretty good. Here's what checkerboard looks like. That looks kind of cool. And yeah, this was definitely... Yeah, I'm definitely doing a separate video where I'll do a solve. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is definitely a really fun puzzle. Yeah, that's really cool. So I would definitely recommend buying every cube I got. And yeah, let's head to the outro. Hey guys, pardon the interruption, but I was able to cut off like three minutes of that video. So at the time it was like 11 minutes, now it's about 8 and a half minutes. So I actually have enough time to do a solve of every one of these puzzles. So yeah, I'll do a solve and then I'll head to the outro. So that, guys, was the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, so make sure to ask them down in the comments below. Anyways, that's it for now. Have a good day and bye. See you next time.